one of these lights will light up telling you which way to move the pitch slider. So say this light lit up, then I would start moving it closer to that light until the light turns off and then that means it's locked in with the software. Hey guys, it's DJ Shorty here with BPM Supreme and I DJ Now and today I'm going to give you a quick look of the RAIN 12 turntable controller. Now I already did an unboxing video for you guys, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already because it shows how to set up the whole controller. But now I'm gonna take you through all the features of the controller. And if you wanna win a whole DJ setup, just like you see here with two RAIN 12s and a RAIN 72 mixer, just click the link below because you can enter the New Year New Gear Giveaway by BPM Supreme and I DJ Now, where you can win the whole shebang. So it's really dope. But right now we're gonna go through all the features. On an actual turntable, when you turn off the on-off motor switch, you can still hear the audio if you rotate the platter. And this controller works exactly the same way. So I'm going to turn up the audio just so you can hear. The motor is not on, and I'm just gonna spin it with my finger. We have audio, so it's the same exact effect as an actual turntable. And then next up we have, I'm gonna move right over here to the pitch area. But a cool thing about this, and is something that's actually needed because this is a controller that's syncing up with your Serato software. If for some reason you've changed the pitch on the turntable, but it doesn't match the pitch in the software because the software is actually in internal mode. So you get your little pitch sliders in the software. So we can see that right here and you can see uh, the pitch moving like this. But if for some reason that this pitch, like right when you hook it up or something, say the pitch was in a different area than where the software pitch is right here, then one of these lights will light up telling you which way to move the pitch slider. So say this light lit up, then I would start moving it closer to that light until the light turns off and then that means it's locked in with the software here. So next up we have the Q mode area, which is right here. It's this button and this strip. So this has a few different functions and we're gonna go over that right now. So the first one is sort of this search mode with the strip. So while the turntable is off, the turntable controller, the 12 is off, you can actually seek through it by swiping your finger back and forth. And if you look in the software, you can see the little triangle going up and down the track and that's because I'm controlling it with the 12. So if I'm playing this track and you can see it moving in the software and now you can see the further along it gets, it lights up. So that's also really helpful when you're DJing because you can kind of see how far you have as well. So, and it'll just keep going. So if I forward it and there we go, it just lit up again. Now, if you click the Q mode button, now we go into Q point mode and here you can see all your Q points. So this track has seven cue points, so I can see all seven cue points, and I can actually trigger these cue points with this little strip. So that's pretty self-explanatory. You can trigger your cue points with this strip, and the button lights up blue, so you know that you're in cue point mode rather than the search mode. So that's about it. That's all the features of the RAIN 12. And don't forget, you can actually win two RAIN 12s and a 72 mixer. So this whole DJ setup in the New Year New Gear giveaway by BPM Supreme and I DJ Now. So make sure you click that link below. So that's about it. My name is DJ Shorty with BPM Supreme and I DJ Now, and I'm out. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching and make sure to share this video with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe to BPM Supreme's YouTube channel where you can get more awesome videos like this one.